Yo, 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 what it do guys, what's crack a and what it do, what it do, what it do baby, what's crack a with all of you? Anyway folks, so today I got a speed run for you guys, another speed run. Now I'm going to tell you the two speeds I just hit right now with this vehicle and with the new Sky RC GPS, which I'm currently selling, but I'm going to rebuy it again because I beat this one up a little bit. Uh, I am running the Traxxas Stampede today, 110 scale, monster truck, brushless edition, ZTW Beast, four pole, 4,350 kV, and it's running on a 3S Hyperion H7 series G7, 4,400 milliamp, 75C rated, 11.4 uh, volt battery, okay? And the battery has TRX connectors on it. Well, not connectors, it has a TRX connector, meaning a Traxxas connector. And uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, guys. It's been a while, it's been a good while. And I did just hit 85 kilometers per hour on the first couple, on the first uh, two or three passes. 85 kilometers an hour, which equates to 52 miles per hour plus, so about 52.0 something something, that's what it said on my phone. And uh, then before that, it was 49 miles per hour. And this was on 3S, but you know, guys, this monster truck is so unstable at high speeds. It's so unstable that sometimes it just gets ridiculous at you know 50 miles per hour and up it's hard to control after 52 it really is and uh even if i barrel roll it even if i crash it guys i'm going to you know run over there and pick it up as usual if i have to but uh, hopefully that's not the case hopefully it rolls back on its lid and when i say lid that means i'm using the lex and shell the stock truck body that it came with so if you guys remember this truck used to be brushed and it used to have the plastic center uh, drive shaft. <clears throat> I upgraded all of that since I sold this, those stock Emac style wheels, the off-road wheels. They suck that traction. These are still way better at traction, even though they're out of control. And, and I'm using the Traxxas Talon wheels, all four, the 2.8s for the for my Stampede. And uh, so I got all four of those on. And I got 20 pinion 54 spur gear, and they're both uh, 32 pitch gears on a three millimeter size shaft. And yeah, guys, did I miss anything else? That's about it. Did I, I mean, I, I don't think I missed anything, but that's about it. So this is my first official video being back again. And it should go, it should work out just fine. Now there are two little girls over there on the other side of the neighborhood. I gotta be careful for them. But other than that, guys, let's get this run going. Much love. GBT is bringing videos back to you guys again. Let's see what that was.
Alright guys. Alright guys, so that run you just saw right now, that was 82 kilometers per hour. I'm assuming that translates between 52.3 and 53 miles per hour. So I basically got, uh, let's see. No, no, that's not 52 miles an hour. That's a little higher. That's about 50 to 51 miles per hour, okay? So I'm going to translate all of this for you guys once I get done with the video. And I'm going to put it all in miles per hour for you guys, okay? So, because the thing is with this, with this exact GPS speed meter, it's the Sky RC GSM-010. This model comes, it pretty much comes the way it does. I mean, when you buy it, it comes out of the box set up in kilometer per hours, so, or in KPH, I should say. And you have to convert, it's called the metric system. You have to convert it from like metric to something else. I forgot what it was, but I, I have the box inside, guys. I did a product review on it yesterday. And I didn't upload that video yesterday since I was in a rush to go to the bar to watch UFC 238. And uh, Henry Cejudo won. Damn, it was crazy. Just got, I got knocked out by uh, Carolina, or not Carolina, what's her name? Uh, Valentina Shevchenko. That was an awesome Blake Kid KO. And uh, I was in a rush, so that's why I was making that video on the go. And as you can tell, guys, I was in the car when I was making that video. So anyways, so right now I just hit 80, 82 kilometers per hour. Before that, I hit, what was it, 80? I believe it was 80 or 81. And then uh, before that it was 80. Well, let's just go in order, okay? I did 85 kilometers per hour, which equates to 52 miles per hour. I did 80 kilometers an hour, which was uh, 49 miles per hour, 49 point something something. And then just now I hit over like 50.5 to like 51. So anyways, guys, here it is. So it's on my Traxxas Stampede body, all right. And like I said, I got little girls on one side of the neighborhood playing on their uh, they're playing on their bikes. So I don't want to hit these poor kids, you know. I'm trying to take it easy. And really, guys, this thing's nasty. At uh, th this this monster truck is nasty on 3S, guys. On 3S, it is hard to control. My God, I mean, it's it's going back and forth between left and right. You know, I mean, it can't stay centered. It's just too crazy. So. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm gonna try to hit, you know, 55 to 60 today and over. I know this motor is capable of this truck reaching 62 to 65 or more. It's just, I need a lot more room. I need a lot of time to just, you know, gather up speed and then get stabilized and then just shoot down in a straight line because this thing's a monster truck. And you guys know with monster trucks, they're not the best for speed, okay? My E-Revo Mamba Monster, the big one, is the best for speed. It's the king of speed. My Rustler VXL, king of speed. My bandit, king of speed, you know? Even my slashes, even my slash four-wheel drive does a better job at speed than uh, than this monster truck, than the Stampede four-wheel drive. Even the slash handles a bit better than this monster truck. So it's crazy to say that, but it does. I think even the slash two-wheel drive high center gravity chassis still handles a bit better than this. And I could still maximize a higher speed, so. But I'm not I'm not crapping on my Stampede, guys. I love my Stampede, it's incredible. It's a, it's a fascinating monster truck. It's one of the best monster trucks that Traxxas has come out with besides the Emax at a 110 scale version that is not 1.8. And uh, I would love to buy me an Emax, honestly guys, I would love to buy me an Emax. I think an Emax would do a better job at speed than the, than the Stampede for sure. But other than that guys, I'm letting my Stampede cool off in the garage. And I'm happy to be back with speed runs, folks. I'm really happy to be back to you guys with videos. And we're gonna continue hammering out videos, okay? Now of course, you guys have seen me you know, do the mini Revos uh, at a different location. You've seen me, you know, mix things up a little bit, but you know, I came back here because it's a lot easier to play with my cars in this neighborhood, you know, without as much drama. Plus it's on residential property. So, you know, I'm not gonna have a cop hassle me and give me crap, you know? But anyways, guys, let's get back to this run. Give me a second, I'll be back.
guys. Let's see how fast that was. Okay, that was uh, 82 kilometers per hour again. All right, so that's about what 49 to 50.5 miles per hour, almost 51, something like that. I'll convert it over for you guys, so don't worry. But the highest was 85 kilometers per hour. That was the highest for today. So, is this truck capable of 60 plus miles per hour, as the box claims? I believe it is. I really do highly believe it is. But that's with a lot more room. You know, I can't have any, uh, I can't have any room for error, you know what I mean? I can't have any room for error, any sort of error. And with a monster truck like this, it's wicked crazy. It gets crazy at high speeds, and I've seen it wheelie before. It does wheelie, but it's got to be after a certain speed, like 55 and up. So around 55 to 56 or 57 and higher, it'll start to wheelie. You'll start to see it lift off. But uh, you guys didn't notice that because, well, I'm trying not to hit anything. And, uh, like I said, I'm, not, I'm trying not to hit anything. I'm trying not to hit those kids over there. It's too risky. I don't want to be liable for any damage of any sort. And you know how it is. A lot of people talk smack, guys. I don't want to say the word SHIT, but a lot of people can't keep their trap shut, and that's just how it is. Unfortunately, that's how it is. All right? We don't have all that freedom that they claim in the United States of America. Yeah, you're free to an extent, but you don't got that much freedom. It's all BS. You're not free to do as you please, you know? It comes with a price, and that price can come in different forms and different shapes and sizes, and you know, with a big mouth, you know how that goes, so, yeah. But anyways, guys, we're gonna do another run. We'll do like another couple more runs, and then I'm gonna shut it down. I'll regroup, I'll put 2S on this. It'll be a lot easier to drive on 2S. And you'll see how much slower it is on 2S and on 3S. And uh, on 2S, I'm normally averaging about 36 to 41 miles per hour. Actually, no, I believe yesterday I did 42 miles per hour. It's up there. It's 41 to 42, though. All right. All right, let's do a couple more. Got my GPS. Check and see if it's still recording. Yeah, it's still recording. Okay, we're good. Hope you guys are enjoying the view. In a sec, real quick. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. I think that's a little bit better, guys. All right, I think that's good.
let's see what we hit, y'all. guys so that was also 80 kilometers per hour and like i said i'm gonna you know convert everything over to miles per hour for you guys on my videos so don't worry about it once i'm done with the videos i'm gonna do that and once again like i said guys you can convert kilometers per hour to miles per hour with the sky rc gps and it's a wonderful gps it works immaculately i mean it's perfect the way it gives you your speeds the way it's so precise and like I said, guys, it's hard getting this Stampede four-wheel drive monster truck over 52 miles per hour. I'm telling you guys, on average, I'm doing 51 to 50, uh, 52, or uh, 50. No, no, I'm doing on average 49 to 52 miles per hour. Anything above 49 to 52 miles per hour with this truck is just wicked, guys. I mean, I'm trying to shoot for 53 and up, you know, 53 to 60 and higher even, but... Guys, I don't know how the hell anybody would be able to control a Traxxas MP4 wheel drive at 60 plus miles per hour. I mean, even with the TSM on. I mean, if I had TSM on this on the Stampede Muscle Truck, I'm sure more than likely I'd be able to hit over 65 miles an hour or faster with this gearing. So it's just, uh, it's way too crazy. It's way too powerful. And the reason why you're not seeing over 53 and higher or 55 and higher it's because of the simple fact that, you know, you lose control easily. It's a monster truck, so. Anyways, guys, with that all being said, I'm going to shut it down for today. And I'm going to do a 2S run after the two, after this is over. And I'm going to get that on video for you guys as well. And uh, I'll catch you guys with another video later, okay, guys? All right, guys, go a little bit tech signing off. Peace.